Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, your wonderful, humble host, Ken, from the Piercing Ken Channel. We're here at Broadway Con, and I'm getting the sign because you've made it to Broadway Con. And you know who's also made it to Broadway Con? A friend we met last year, the awesome and exciting Hi. Alyssa Jaffe. Hello. Hi, Alyssa Jaffe. Hi. So talk to me. What are you doing here this time? What am I doing here? Well, I'm supporting a lot of my friends who are on some panels, obviously seeing everything happening with Broadway Con, and I also have my own panel this year, which is very, Ooh, very exciting. What's the panel about? It is called Utilizing the power of social media as an actor. Um, I don't think we talk enough about how important social media is when you're an actor and when you're trying to get established. So it's all about that and a lot of my really wonderful friends are going to be talking about it and I'm very excited. So let me ask you, as somebody who's in the field and is using these mechanisms for your hopeful success. Trying to. <laughs> isn't it infuriating sometimes the amount of stuff you have to do? Um, my friends and I who do media, we're often uh, asked, what do I do to start? And we tell them, don't. <laughs> valid. Very, very valid. Only because you have, to, you have to create 50 different networks at the onset. So what is the most viable one for you? The most viable one for me, I would say, is TikTok. I feel like that's where I've had the fastest growing audience and I've also been able to show myself. I feel like there's at times on Instagram where I get a little bit like, I have friends from high school and friends from, you know, back home where I feel a little bit awkward showing more of my quirky musical theater loving side. I'm trying to work through that. But I'd say TikTok is a big one. Um, I've really loved it because I can just post things and it goes into the ether and then I'm like, okay, goodbye. And it's, it's opened a lot of doors, which I've been really grateful for. So now here, look. With TikTok in mind, are you doing that, as they call the triple threat, like doing the, the minute long videos and yeah. you do the same, you do the video clean yes. and then you do it to TikTok and you put it to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. So are I you don't doing use that? YouTube Shorts even though I should because so I also you know should. they pay well, which is nice. Yeah, well you um, probably make money at this, I wouldn't. I do, thankfully. Um, it's a very nice extra source of income, especially because I work five jobs, including doing social media because the grind never stops. Um, no, it doesn't. But um, mainly TikTok and Instagram Reels. Um, I utilize, again, primarily TikTok. That's my main sort of platform, but I've been getting a lot more. We're going to put all of well. Alyssa's links in the bottom Thank of this for you all. So. All Alyssa V. Jaffe. So, Sweet. so what is the what is the hardest one to, to get? For video-wise? No, what's or the hardest one of these networks for you? Ooh, it's hard because I feel like Again, I really only use the two, Instagram and TikTok, and I feel like they're both ever-changing in terms of the algorithm and what people want to see and making sure that all of your content is constantly different. I feel like I'd say TikTok is the hardest in terms of consistency because I've noticed with TikTok, if you don't post one day, you're kind of screwed. So it's you have to post every single day and often you have to post multiple times a day and it's keeping content exciting and not just a, oh, I'm lip syncing lip syncing, pardon me, excuse me, uh, to this one sound. It's, you know, making exciting and engaging content that people actually want to see and not just something that someone's going to be like, what is this, you know? So it's just, it's keeping consistency and quality, I'd say, is the hardest thing. So what are we going to see you in? Are we going to see you in any sort of performances? There's some stuff coming up. I have a couple 54 Below shows coming up, and there's a couple of shows that I can't talk about yet. Okay, that we're so we're not going to get any of the inside <laughs> A couple of things of coming up that I am very excited for. Um, I'm excited to share. It's just, you know, haven't signed full contracts yet, so can't okay. talk well, about Well, we that won't yet. talk about that, but we'll make sure we keep in touch with Alyssa of after course. this. So. Listen, I know you got to get places here at that, that Broadway con, and I'm so happy to see you. It's nice to see that smile and get that positive energy again. And how's the, how have you found it so far? It's early, Broadway it's the first day. It's been wonderful. Um, You've done this a few times though, right? This is actually only my second time. I was only, okay. the first year was last year for me, even though it's been around for a couple of years. It's been lovely. I've seen a lot of friends, a lot of people I've gotten to know over through the years. Um, and it's been wonderful. I'm especially excited for tomorrow because there's just like a lot of friends have panels. I have my own panel. Um, the Start a Beat competition, I have a couple friends in that, which I'm very excited to go support. Um, I'm just kind of along for the ride and just going to see how this weekend is. Sweet, but I've sweet, been having sweet. a great time. I so appreciate talking to you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you get going and I'm Sounds just going to wrap good. this one up. So, hey, my friends, here is the drill. You know how it works. You're going to click that there subscribe button on the notification bell because it rings when you do it. It doesn't ring. I don't uh, and then, yes, like and leave a comment on the video if you like what you saw. And you know you liked what you saw because no one is more awesome than uh, Alyssa Jaffe. Okay, maybe me. But still, see you next time. Bye.